Okay guys, so we're gonna start with the main intro of the song and we can start doing the following. We will start doing that. So we're gonna start playing the open string on the D string, the open D string. As soon as we do that, we need to go to the 11th fret, right, on the G string, right? We, uh, we strike the open string and we slide to the 11. And then what we need to do, we need to do a bar right here on the 10th of the first, the E string and the B string. And as soon as we do the bar, we strike the first, we strike the second, and then we need to go to 11th of the G string and back to the 10th of the B string. That's the movement. And then we just repeat the same motion twice, right? And then we will need to pretty much do the same thing, but we change the open string. We strike the open A string, and this time we change positions and we go and we do a slide to the sixth of the E of the E of the G of the G string, sorry. As soon as we do that, again, we do a bar on the fifth, on the fifth of the first and the second string, the E and the B string, and we do five, five of the second, we strike the sixth on the G string, and back to five on the B. And then we repeat the same motion, we go back to open D string, slide to 11, 10th, 10th, 11, and 10th. Right? So let me play the whole section in slow tempo and then we will do it in a real tempo. One more time. All right, so now we are gonna be talking about the verses. And on the verses, we will do two main riffs. We will start with a, with a D riff, with a D chord, but the D chord, we need to strike the D string, the G on the second and the third on the B string. We are not gonna play the first string, all right? And then, of course, uh, we're gonna strike the A, we're gonna do an A chord. A, open A, second of the D, and second of the G. But first, we will start with the D chord. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna strike, gonna do all downstrokes, right? And then we're gonna change it a little bit. So first we need to start doing the following. We do that. So we strike twice on the second and third, and then we need to change something on the G string. We need to go to the fourth, but we keep the third of the B and the open D string. Then we go back to the 3 and 2 and we do the same motion. Twice, 3, 4, and we repeat again. Twice, 4 and 3, and again we repeat twice, and we go to 4 and 3, and to finish the section, we strike on 3 and 2 just one time. So let me play the section in a slow tempo, and I'm gonna tell you a difference. So the first time when I'm starting, I'm striking twice the three and the two, and then I go to the three and the four. Now the next time when we strike three and two, the first one, it's longer, it's a little bit longer. All right, let me play the whole section. Right, so I'm doing all downstrokes. What you can do, you can uh, play it on a different way. You can do that. You can strike what I'm doing. I'm striking, I'm doing an, uh, when, I'm, when I start the uh, twice on the three and the two, I do a downstroke, then an upstroke, and I go downstroke on three and four. Right? Now the next uh, sections, when we need to strike, twice on the three and two and white one on the three and four, I do two upstrokes, right? And then I do a downstroke when I go to three and four. Let me show you. Let's go one more time from the beginning. All 
right? And we just repeat the same motion doing two downstrokes, uh, upstrokes, and then one uh, downstroke on the three and the four. And remember that the last time uh, we just gonna be uh, striking on the three and the two and the open D just one time. Then of course we need to change chords. We need to go to the second part of the chorus, which is an A chord. Uh, a chord. So we strike again. We do pretty much the same thing. I'm gonna do all downstrokes. I we strike twice on the A on the on the A chord, and then we need to change positions. And on the D string we go to the fourth position. Right? We do that. Then we go back to the A string. We strike it twice again, and we go back again, and now the things are going to change a little bit. We go to 4 and 2, and then back to 2 and 2, 4 and 2 again, and back to 2 and 2. Let me show you in a slow tempo so you can get it. That's the movement. After we uh, we finish striking on the A string, doing an doing an A chord, there's a tiny silence, and we do we do that. We go back to the original D position. We strike it twice, and the last time we need to do a hammer on from the second fret of the G string to the fourth position. We do that, and you can just uh, use the G string and do the hammer on, or you can strike uh, all the three strings and do the hammer on. Let me show you again slow tempo. As soon as you do the hammer on, you need to go back to the same thing we did before with the, with the D position, right? We just repeat the same sections. Alright, so since we know the intro and we know the verses, we need to learn the chorus. So the chorus is going to be real simple. We do a G position, a D position, and an A position. And we're going to do kind of a bluesy movement. So we need to do the following. That's, gonna, that's what we're going to be doing on the first round of the chorus. So we go to the G string and we start playing only the sixth and the A string, all right? The E and the A string. And we go to third and fifth. So I'm gonna do all downstrokes. You can change that if you wish. So we do two downstrokes on three and five. And I would advise to use these two fingers because if you use this, uh, this two, uh, you need to go then to the seventh and it's gonna be really hard, you know? So these ones are the best for, for this kind of things. So we do two downstrokes and then we need to change and we go to seven on the on the fifth and three on the sixth, right? And we strike just one time. And then we go back to the original position, three and five, and we strike just one time. Then we change positions, but we follow the same pattern. But we go to the D position. We go to fifth and seven on the A and the D, and we repeat the same thing again. Sorry, let's go again. So we go back again. Then we change position again, and we go to the A position. And we go twice, and now things are going to change a little bit. We go twice on, on fifth and seventh. We go to nine and five, and we strike one time. And then when we go to five and seven, we're going to strike five and seven, but we're going to strike it three times. Notice I did. All right? So we need to do that three times. Then we go back to nine and fifth, and we go back to seven and five. Let me show you in a slow tempo. Right? Let's uh, do the, uh, the entire uh, first section again.
right? So that's the first round. We will have two rounds. On the first one, we do this. The second one, we will follow the same patterns, but we're gonna do something else. We're gonna start the same way on the G. We're gonna follow on the same way on the D. But when we go to the A position, to the A, we will do something else. Well, we, what we do, we start twice on the seventh and fifth. We go to nine and fifth one time. And the next thing we will do, we strike three times. We strike nine and fifth three times. Nine and fifth three times. Nine and fifth. And we finish one time on the fifth and the seventh, right? Let's go back again. So basically, we just repeat the three times on the five and seven, and then go to nine and five, and we repeat that motion three times. Right? And when we finish, uh, after going nine and fifth, we go back to the seven and five, and we strike just one time, and then we just go back to the verses. Let's go back again, the entire section. And then we go back to the verses. Right, so that's uh, the chorus. Let's go and talk about the solo. Okay, so on the solo, with the solo, we're gonna do the following. We will do that. So we're gonna start on the open G string. We strike the open G string and as soon as we do that we go to the second position of the G string, we strike it and we do a slide to the fourth position. As soon as we do that we go and we strike the third of the second position. I'm sorry, the second string. And as soon as we are done with the third position we go to the fifth and what, we'll, uh, what we will need to do is to strike the fifth do a bend and when we are on the higher part of the bend we strike it again and we do a release as soon as we are done with the release we need to do a pull off from fifth to third on the b string and again as soon as we do that we go to the fourth of the g string and second of the g string let's go again So to finish the first part of the solo, we do we do that. We go to the fourth of the G string, and when we strike it, we do a bend, and we need to let the bend ring. Then with the pinky, you go to the fifth position of the uh, of the B string. As soon as you strike the fifth, if since you are still doing the bend, you strike the bend and do the release, right? And as soon as you release, you go to second of the uh, G string. Now the second part of the solo starts the same way, we just repeat the same movements. Now the difference is that we do not start again. We don't. Go, we are not going to go to the open G string. When we finish on the second of the G string, we go back to four and fifth, and we do. We do that motion. We go to four and fifth. We strike both strings at the same time. So we do a bend on the fourth, right? We strike both at the same time, but we do a bend on the fourth position. As soon as we do that, we kind of uh, mute the strings, we go back to the original position and we strike and do the same thing again. Bend again. Let's go again. Oh, sorry. And the last time we do that, we strike both strings at the same time, we do the bend, we do the release, and we finish on the second of the uh, G string. 
Now, what you can do after you do the release, you can do a pull off, right? That's it's up to you. You can do that I'm just striking the second fret. So let's go with the entire solo, slow tempo. All right, so we have the solo, we have the, the intro, the uh, verses and the chorus. So there's one thing left. It's gonna be the final lick of the uh, song. And we're gonna do. So we need to do that, really simple. We go to the third string, to the G string, we strike on the ninth and we do a slide to the 11th position, right? Just a slide to 11. And as soon as we do that, we go to the 10th of the B string. And we're gonna repeat the same motion three times. And as soon as we do that, we finish it with a three times, we finish on the 11th of the G string. So the next section, it's pretty much the same thing, we just repeat the same motion twice, but then, after finishing on the 11, we finish on the 7th of the G string, right? Sounds, sounds right. So let's go with the entire section again. And then... So that is it, guys. I hope you like the tutorial, you find it useful for you, and catch you on the next one.